So we're hiking the Foothills Trail, basically from Oconee to Table Rock. And it's anywhere between uh, 76 to 77 miles. This is day two, and we're probably about eight miles in now, close to Sloan uh, Bridge. On the second day, we did 16 and a half to 17 yesterday. And as you could tell from the realm of this hat here, it's been a sweaty one. We got a problem right here already. Hey y'all, we got a problem. Name of the lead hiker? That'd be Josh. Jerry Bloodworth. Jerry Handrails is at 3.2, and then there's another one at 3.7. This is the 3.21. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. 3.2 miles and a little bit So at five miles, you'll come to a road. You're not gonna cross this road. You're gonna hang a right and stay on the trail. Where are we? I don't know. <laughs> We're at 6.1 crossing some road. Crossing Chiahee. Also called Winding Stairs Road. And Winding Stairs Road. Second road crossing. Look at the teeth. Well, the teeth are, yeah, the teeth look like a plant eater. Tusks, so it's not a hog. Not an <laughs> elephant? <laughs> Nature's seat. You come to a parking lot after 7.5 miles. Drawn by Miss Patterson's kindergarten. So we started. So we started the foothill trails at Oconee State Park, and we're heading to Table Rock for this trip. And we got 76 point miles, point five or something like that. We're doing. And we've got 8.9 left to our first campsite. You want to take one? Have one. Leave one. What is it? A fly brary. Oh, that's nice. I got a little fishing fly, a little trout. And from here, we've got 8.9 miles to Barrels Forward.
at the Lig Creek Falls as a small little climb up. It's not too bad, but it'll get you huffing and puffing because uh, you've been going downhill a little bit. So uh, it gets your blood pumping again, but it's not too long. We're not quite there yet, but we're getting close to the top. Yeah, we come out to the trail to practice our ballerina skills. He didn't like to put up, so. Probably well marked, that's all the others he's in. I tried to get a signal on my phone. I was worried about our two hiking partners going astray. So I said, I'll go up there and see if I can join Drew. And as I was walking up the road, a crow was sitting on the table eating your food, pecking away at my supper at Drew's bean bark soup. <laughs> <laughs> And then I shoot him away from here. Well, I appreciate that. And he went down the mine. I didn't have any food out. I just had my bag out like this. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on how sanitary a crow's beak is. But, uh, well, I can't cook it in that bag. I think I got a bag. What happened, guys? This guy struggled the last three miles breathing-wise and had to sit down every quarter of a mile oh and goodness. take a 20 minute nap. I was like, I know I passed Doug somewhere. Yeah, well, I'm so slow, obviously. Yeah. So, uh, didn't get I just sat down and waited, and I waited, and waited, and waited, and finally was like, What's the river I was like, by? man, the heck, Doug's on his own, I'm going. So, and here we are. So this is Barrels Ford Campground. There's a stream right over there, and I hung right in between two trees just beyond the bear pool. There's also a nice privy here, and I camped at site eight. That didn't feel like hassling me.
from Burroughs Ford. Okay. So that's 2.7. 2.7 yeah, from here. I'll live that long, yeah. You'll live that long. If it's 6.7 from here, I'm saying this is all the water I got. So Yeah, I've got about that much. So, yeah, we'd be in the same boat. And this much. Um, so that's about 2.7. Yeah, about 2.7. Yeah, that's about 2.7. Yeah, so yeah, we'd be in the same boat. And this much. So. Um, there's a picnic area at 7.4. That might be a little too early for lunch. Well, we'll scope it out when we get there. I mean, that's a little less than halfway for the day. And then we go into South North Carolina. 7.4 is right on halfway for 15, right? Oh, that'll be cool. We get to cross the state line. Yeah, we cross the state line at 8.8. .8. Today. It'll be second yeah, time. Yeah, 8.8 .8 from Burroughs Ford. From Bur oh, so another 4 point something miles. Yes. All right, cool. 4.8, actually. That. So, I can't think. 4.8 miles. It'll take us <clears throat> at my pace. And two and a half hours. hours. What were y'all hiking? Two miles an hour? That's yeah. my normal pace. That's what apparently. we were hiking on the way up. That's two to two and a half is what I normally do. We were shooting for it. Just done. We certainly started out faster than that yesterday. We were doing almost three yesterday. Probably more we were doing three. We were doing three plus when we, <laughs> yeah, started. When we started. That was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the first one to tell you right now that was dumb. So we left Barrels Ford and it's a 3.9 climb up. There's a little bit of ridge walking, but it's pretty a steady climb all the way up. It's not too bad. And we're heading down across the road. All right. Soaking my feet. Oh, okay. Filming. We go on, go on up. Mm -hmm. So we're hiking the Foothills Trail, basically from Oconee to Table Rock, and it's anywhere between uh, 76 to 77 miles. This is day two, and we're probably about eight miles in now, close to Sloan uh, Bridge. On the second day, we did 16 and a half to 17 yesterday. And as you could tell from the realm of this hat here, it's been a sweaty one. I've already had one fall, uh, hurt my foot. We're by a road here, so excuse the noise. Uh, but I hurt my foot, my right foot, so I'm having to soak my foot and uh, hurt my um, arm here a little bit. 
basically slipped on a rock in a creek and uh, <laughs> my backpack, it was a hole about this big. My backpack got stuck in that hole. I felt like a turtle trying to get up. It took me a moment to wiggle my way out, but I was able to do it. So I uh, packed in uh, 20.72 pounds or 75, something like that. I'll throw a picture up, but that was the uh, total pack weight, food, water, fuel, everything. Uh, base weight was around 10.3, something like that. Food by itself was seven point something. So uh, it's been a good trip so far. Yesterday I struggled uh, the last three miles, either a heart or a breathing issue, not sure. Um, but I have that from time to time and had to take it a lot slower. But I pushed on and made the rest of the miles. So hopefully we don't have that issue today because I injured myself and gotta deal with that as well. So everybody else seems to be doing fine. Uh, John struggled a little bit on the first day those last few miles as well but different reasons uh we pushed pretty hard uh we were like 3.2 to 3.5 for the first 10 miles so uh those last last mileage really really hurt us because uh, we pushed so hard so we're taking it easy about two miles an hour on this trip so drew's got a little issue with his his heel rubbing a little bit uh so he's got some tape on that uh doug seems to be doing really well um shoulders hurting him a little bit and uh but he's pushing through it uh everybody seems to be doing pretty good for the most part uh we're all not quite in the shape we need to be but uh I'm glad this is not the at and this is foothills but foothills has got some uh hills for you as well so see y'all out on the trail so shortly after that uh little feet soaking we arrived at Sloan bridge it's not on the trail it's just a little off there's no camping here so uh but there is a parking lot with a privy so if you need to take a break it's a good place to take a break get some water eat something because there's a picnic table behind me if you can see it there's also some picnic tables down here with some grill tops as well what's happening falling on my face. How's that view? Uh, if you like trees and, and, and clouds, it's great. I thought we had a lake behind you. Stunning. Allegedly, there's one back there somewhere. So day two, 11 miles down, stopped and had lunch at uh, 10 miles and uh, Drew and Doug got there before us so they headed off a little before us and uh, John decided to take a little siesta there. Uh, I might end up having a siesta myself. Got another uh, six miles left. So I don't know, I'm feeling pretty good at this moment. But if I start feeling like I did yesterday, I'm going to string my hammock up and uh, take an hour. Uh, it's 2.09, so don't have as much time as I did yesterday. And uh, most of it, I think, is downhill, so may not have to take a nap today. But yesterday, whoo, 20-minute nap did me good. So we'll see. Uh, John will be behind me soon, I'm sure of it. Okay, it's the second day, 2.22, and we went from Oconee heading to Table Rock. We've been 28.3 miles now. You're gonna cross this road somewhere. You'll be crossing this road somewhere at 28.3 miles. So basically went from Oconee heading to Table Rock and got 28.3 miles left. Look across the road, you'll see the white blaze. So I have no clue where I'm heading tonight. I just know I got about six more miles left. Six and a half, I don't know. But uh, Drew and them pushed on. 
So I see them at camp. Have no clue where I'm going. I do know I'm going to Table Rock, and that's 47.9. But I have no clue where I'm going right now other than I've got about six miles left, so. Looks like there's a foothills loop and a bathroom up that way. Going this way, shortly after you cross the road. You got a white blaze, so. Continuing this way, I think. Can't decide if I'm happy that I'm going down these and not up them or not. Watch that step. Day two, 252. And we have 47.1 to go and 29.1 that we've hiked. Still a little ways to go. I wish I had a tip from the falls, but I actually do hiking freaks. When you go to film, check your lens. Make sure it ain't got no dirt on it. Just realized I had dirt on it. Who knows how long. That's a tip from the falls. A sign. JS and JP. Josh and John. Go this way. Okay. Here we go. This is our second night we're at scout camp and that's 15 to 16 miles from uh oh boy yeah somewhere barrel ford so this is our second night at camp and we're at barrels oh my goodness tired yeah this is our second day at camp and we're at scout camp we come from barrels ford it's about 15.5 to 16 miles from there so excuse the laundry rinse those off in what little creek there is Peaky peaky. <laughs> How's it going, Josh? Pretty good, pretty good. The hammock. I know, they're very rare. John's got the tablecloth with the Franke net. I didn't know that comes part of the hammock setup. Keeps the bears away.
obvious, but you'll come across this service road here. And you got a little fence blocking as a blaze on the other side of that tree, just like that blaze. Leading down this big path here. Day three, been 42.4 miles. We have 33.8 tomorrow. Day three, uh, I've been struggling today. Uh, trying to get my, see we're doing 16 point something today. I'm right at, I don't know, 14. Uh, I had to take a couple of naps. I don't think I've got enough nutrients in me. So, anyway, once I ate my lunch, that perked me back up. I hadn't seemed to need a nap for the last seven miles. So, before though, whew, I did uh, do something dumb and I uh, kind of ran a lot of it this morning, uh, pushing through the pain that I had in my foot. But uh, that pain's gone away, and then I got sleepy. <laughs> so, but we'll be there. We'll make it. And Heartbreak Ridge is coming up next tomorrow. Is this the start of Heartbreak Ridge? Sure. Alright, if anybody's going faster than me, just say so and I'll pull over. Yeah, same here. Man, look at that. I'm looking at it, I'm filming it. Scott would have fun for days. Scott Taylor, a.k.a. Saline. I think I found your favorite camping spot, man. Right off of Heartbreak Ridge. Welcome sight coming down and catching the glimpse of that lake right there. Yes, it was. It's down a bit. Probably power generation. I'm assuming the Cassie is a hydroelectric. That's all this is Duke Power for Duke Energy. Gee! <laughs> you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I almost punched your camera. <laughs> School 
schoolhouse rocks road really just schoolhouse we're going this way it looks like scratch that so if you miss the trailblaze which gets off the road for just a little second and you end up at schoolhouse road take you a right on that and then you uh, run back into the trail, which is basically what I'm doing. I'm, so I'm bypassing uh, not even a quarter of a mile, but I made up on it with the dirt road that I just hiked. So anyway, uh, I'll meet back up on the trail. I looked on my phone and it, it gets off the trail for like a short distance and gets right back on to this road uh, further down. So yeah, I just took a climb up instead of going a diagonal on a ridge so not too much so keep your eyes on the blazes not your feet You're hoping for a lift. Sorry, not on this one. Closed for vehicles. And don't think I haven't thought about it a couple times on those logging slash forest service roads. <laughs> We've been 53.6 on the fourth day. It's 9.54 for me. The guys are a good bit ahead of me. And I've got 22.6 to go. This Virginia Hawkins campsite is not too shabby. Good creek right here too. The Virginia Hawkins Falls are pretty nice too. flat rock campground just before chimney top really enjoyed the trail took my time and uh, it was a little bit easier today but I uh, also had a mental change uh, made sure I eat a little more um, throughout the day versus trying to get that 10 miles before lunch just had my lunch when I felt I needed it um, been a really good day i've really really enjoyed 
uh, this day. Uh, I don't know if it's because the trail was easier, but uh, haven't had trouble with my breathing. So that's helped and my energy's been up. Still took a nap. It's been 61.7 miles, still going. This is some parking lot, not sure where. Just before, 2.4 miles before chimney top. This is the parking lot, just before. You'll follow the road down from there. Only have 14.2. This has been a good day. Uh, hadn't struggled today with energy or my breathing. So, trail's been a lot easier today. But, uh, well, the first half of it was not. But I didn't struggle too much with that. I took my time like I probably should have on the rest of the trail. So, getting close to camp. I'll show you around when I get there. Day five, left chimney top on a ridge line, heading to Sassafras. I think we got two down already. And uh, goal was 13.5, I think, today. And uh, we'll be back at Table Rock getting in the car. Drew's right there somewhere. Day five, 66.5 miles, it's 8.55, just barely missed the sunrise. Woo, 10 more miles to go.
Don't be fooled. It's not table rock. It's Pinnacle Mountain. It's spectacular. Here's Pinnacle Mountain lookout number two. What I do to get a shower right now, but I don't want to get John's car no wetter than my sweat probably already will. So down we go, no shower, just a splash. Walking the last mile. All I can say is, I never would have thought the last two, three miles would be as hard as it would at the end. But walking the last mile, see you at the end. You just finished the FHT, what now, Josh? Woo! That's it, we're done. Hey. Couldn't have done it without John, Doug, and Drew. Thank y'all.